gyroscopic sensors are now standard in mobile devices, such as smartphones and watches. We show that these sensors can be repurposed for vibroacoustic data reception, opening a unique communication channel. Our approach, which we call Vibrocom, requires direct physical contact with a transmitting object. This is in contrast to wireless methods like Bluetooth and NFC, which require mere proximity. This property makes Vibrocom interactions targeted and explicit in nature, making it well-suited for contexts with many targets and interactions requiring presence and intent. We ran a comprehensive evaluation investigating several data transmission schemes. We found that frequency shift keying using 3-bit symbols transmitted at 1,000 symbols per second offered the highest bit rate. With error correction, this translates to over 2,000 bits per second with less than 5% packet loss. This is an order of magnitude faster than the previous two best IMU-based systems at a quarter of the loss rate. Although most devices will need to be instrumented with a vibroacoustic transducer, we did find that devices with speakers can be co-opted to emit Vibrocom data, requiring no extra hardware. We describe a set of use cases which could be enabled on mobile devices with a simple software update. For example, pairing a Bluetooth speaker can be near instant and also ensure that users are physically next to the device. Similarly, a user could touch their phone to a conference room speaker to transfer a call. Devices could also use Vibrocom to admit their make, model, and unique ID, which could be used to launch companion apps. In this office printer example, the user can simply touch their phone to the front panel to receive all the necessary model and network details for printing. Although Vibrocom is not intended to transmit large files, it could transfer server details or a web URL that allow for downloads over Wi-Fi or cellular. Finally, the ease and speed of Vibrocom is well suited for ephemeral interactions, such as granting temporary guest access on Wi-Fi hotspots. Please see our paper for full details.